This video looks into the village on the hill, specifically Richmond Hill, which ran between Burr Street at the top and King Street at the bottom. We'll look particularly at three lanes which ran all the way down the hill, Thorn Lane, Horns Lane and Mariners Lane, before Ruon Road, which was effectively a bypass for King Street, came into being. This is the top of Thorn Lane, named after the church of St Michael at Thorn, which stood on the corner. The church was destroyed by bombing in 1942. Thorn Lane looks like this today, and here are some historic shots of the street. The village on the hill had three miles of streets and passages, narrow and steep. There were 833 dwellings, of which 612 were unfit for human habitation. Renovation of the area, however, was not universally supported, and a Mr Mickleborough, who was against the project, was invited to take a stroll in daylight and after dark, and this would lead him to ponder what the authorities were doing to allow people to live in such conditions. Garden Street, now mainly known for its car park, was an original street name, and Thorn Lane continued through that building ahead down to King Street. You might just make out the route here, and Morgan's Brewery, highlighted in green, occupied the corner of Thorn Lane and King Street. In the King Street of today, this is where Thorn Lane ended. Back at the top end of Thorn Lane, there is a wooded ridge which takes you to Horns Lane. If we look back from those flats that you can see on Horns Lane, this would have been the view before redevelopment in the 1960s. You can just see the castle in the distance, and in trying to recreate the location in 2021, I'm relying on the convenient crane beside the castle that you can just about make out above Prospect House. That street was called Bartholomew Street and was named after the nearby church of St Bartholomew, which was largely demolished in 1549. This is Horns Lane, retaining a similar line to its original route until, like the others, it was cut off by Rouen Road during the area's redevelopment. After reconstruction of the area, the original route of Horns Lane continues beyond Rouen Road, being renamed Music House Lane after one of the oldest surviving houses in the city, dating from the 1100s. Heading down towards King Street, this was Horns Lane Infant School, and then on King Street, this is the exit point for Horns Lane, now Music House Lane. Before we move on to the third of our routes down the hill, we'll take a quick detour to St Julian's Church between Horn Lane and Thorn Lane. This was St Julian's in 1934, but it was badly damaged during the war, and this is what it looked like in 1946. This is the reconstruction taking place in 1952, and this is that reconstruction having been completed with a return to the 2021 view. On to Mariner's Lane now, seen here snaking away from Burr Street, just ahead of reconstruction, and here in 1938, the present day view looking like this. There had been a school on Mariner's Lane, seen here long after its closure. You can see Skipper House in the background, which means that this car park may well have been the school's playground. Here are some shots of Mariner's Lane in the 1930s, comparing them to the present day view seen here. As with the other lanes, Mariner's Lane was cut off by Ruon Road. This may look like a village church, but it is in fact the redundant St Ethelreda Church, which was on the lower part of Mariner's Lane. This is the same view in 1938, where Mariner's Lane terminated at a malt house on the corner of King Street, with the location currently looking like this. And this is a look back up the footpath that was once Mariner's Lane. So that is the story of the village on the hill, community changed forever and dispersed in the 1960s. Dispersed because many residents were relocated to Hartsey's Towers, which had been intended to be built on the village on the hill, but that proposal was called off because of underground tunnels. 
one other street we should mention is Argyle Street, and that deserves a video of its own.